Hey everybody, so I am back with another video. Um, I just wanted to show you guys some of my new customs that I'm going to start working on and uh, some of my new trucks that I ended up getting in today. I was going to shoot a YouTube video yesterday, but I knew a lot of my trucks were going to come in uh, today, Friday. So I ended up, I just waited just so I could show you all of them besides the Bigfoot set. Um, I do have my girlfriend here today. Uh, she is working on her little horse trailer, her Ertl horse trailer. Um, this is the fifth wheel gooseneck trailer and she has her truck right here. But um, she's gonna be working on that and I'm gonna show you guys some of my new trucks that I got in and I'm gonna show you a couple of my new custom projects that I'm gonna be working on. And if you guys didn't see, I posted a picture of a truck on Instagram and the truck was a truck that I built or started building when I was younger and I never finished it and I just I don't even know where it's at I lost it I have no clue what I did with it but I do want to I did want to remake the truck so I did start it and uh, so far it is turning out pretty good I can't really get too much further into it uh, until I get some JB Weld I did order some so it will be on its way and as soon as I get it, I will get back in to this truck because I do have some parts I need to build for the truck so I can get it working right. Because I do have to cut the frame down just a hair so I can uh, kind of push it together further because there's a big gap in between the bed and the cab where I cut it. But um, I did, I cut this bed into a short bed just to kind of mess around with it. Obviously it ain't level, I didn't sand on it too much. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get into showing you guys some of my new trucks. And uh, so we're going to start out with the 69 green light. This is the full drive. The only thing I don't really like about it is this front wheel is nowhere near the fender wheel. And uh, that kind of sucks. But I'm thinking I might uh, try and... I'll probably buy another one of these and uh, probably make it a two wheel drive because I do like the two wheel drives just as much as the full drive. But I am on to the next truck, which is the um, 1966 D100 Dodge. This is the Hitch and Tow, I think, Series 3. And uh, this one actually is really cool. It has a lot of detail into it. And. As you can see in there, the motor is pretty detailed for what it is. Um, and of course you got the trailer, the green light um, trailer here. This thing is pretty cool. It's got a little little thing that, actually the little uh, jack that goes up and down. You can actually twist it, which is pretty cool for a 164 scale for sure. I haven't seen anything like that and uh, die cast whatsoever but I'm gonna move on to the next item I did get both of these in today as well so these will be going on to a truck these are the welders that I said I was going that I said I ordered those are in and I'm going to be making a welders bed truck here pretty soon um, I did get another flatbed dually so now I have three of them I am going to do a little custom with one i'm not sure exactly what truck i'm gonna do yet um but here is another one i got this one in it is a 69 i believe this one is the uh i think the series what's the new series the series 8 i think but it is really cool i do have two of these not the same casting but they are the same well they're same casting different paint job um they're really cool I, i'm not going to do anything with these um the only thing i do wish i don't believe i haven't figured it out if it does but nothing really moves it's kind of just a looks kind of truck kind of a model of something but i did get this in as well this is the rollback and i already did get it took taken apart um this I'm gonna use this for the wheels, and this will probably be for sale for a little bit. And then, um, if it don't sell, 
I'm gonna give it to her and she's gonna do a project with it. So let's move on to, I think the square body. I don't know. This is the green light 86, I think. 86. This is the 86 Chevy square body. Um, this thing is like super nice. I really like how it has the generator and the water tank and the uh, hose and all that on the back of it. It just has a lot of detail in for a fire truck. Um, we actually have one at our fire station that looks identical to this truck. Besides, I think ours has the white right here, the two-tone white. Uh, it is I mean, it's clean truck, just, I mean, this one looks almost identical to it, and I really like that about this truck. I probably will be ordering another one of these, just to have it. I really like this casting, and I will definitely be ordering more of the square bodies. Um, so, with that being said, I am going to show you my lift on this so far. Um, so, well, I'm going to take this apart real quick. So, this right here is the frame off of the um, yellow utility bed that used to have a snow plow on it. Um, so this is the lift so far. I am gonna work on it a little bit more. I gotta file it down and make everything level. And I am going to put build a drive shaft for it um, and hopefully get all that together. And uh, I was really thinking about making this truck into a flatbed. I mean, this truck, every time I look at it, just looks more and more it it just looks better with the flatbed on it and that I, I really don't know what to do about that there's the flatbed on it this flatbed right here looks really good on this truck and i do believe i'm gonna have to do it sometime i don't know if i'll do it with this truck or not but i do have another blue utility bed i didn't show you guys that um this is the new blue utility bed i did get this in so it might become a flatbed before the yellow one. Um, this right here is the donor flatbed truck. Uh, so it does, the bed does come off of this one. Um, I'll pro I'm definitely gonna do something with the cab because I do really like these trucks. I mean, they're probably some of my favorite trucks. This right here is a Hot Wheels I'm doing. I, I think I did show you guys this. So I'll show you guys that in the next video. Hopefully it'll, they'll have an update on it. But I am gonna show you the start of my old childhood childhood truck that I started building. This is the dually so far. It is not, it's not held together with anything. It's just sitting on the frame right now. So that's why I'm holding it with the frame. Um, this right here, I am gonna find some more dually wheels for it. Cause in the picture, it did have the same wheels as one of these did. This right here is really cool. Um, that truck is still for sale if you guys wanna check it out. But let's go back into this. But anyways, these right here are all hard plastic Q-tip. Um, Q-tips, they're the end of these right here. I just cut the Q-tip part off after I got done using them. And um, I use the plastic because it is really nice hard plastic that does sit really good with the trucks. And they do have a little nipple inside there that you can actually sit it on you can't see it on this one because I did end up, I broke it off. So I'm going to have to just fix that later. There is supposed to be like little nipples sticking up straight. But they did glue all those in instead of uh, leaving two of them separate. But that's all right. We'll get everything figured out here. Um, I am going to start on the front lift tonight. So hopefully I'll have another truck sitting just as nice as the blue one. And I'll be posting it on Instagram if I get anywhere near done with it. I don't know if I will or not because I do have some other stuff to do. Um, I am going to hopefully get a little bit more work done on the dually tonight. But um, let's see. I forgot what I was doing. I was going to show you guys something else. I can't remember what it was. Um, if you guys want to check out or if you guys want... To give me ideas what I could do with the red cab let me know in the comments below because I will be um, taking the bed off of this sooner or later I don't know what truck it's gonna come on yeah you guys pick do you guys want to see it on the yellow truck or do you guys want to see it on the blue utility bed um, let me know in the comments 
if I mean I could probably even paint um, the utility bed to put it on the red truck so I will have red utility probably won't be red I might paint it like gray or something like a normal utility bed I mean some are color matched some aren't so um, let's get into I'll work on this for a little bit and uh, give you guys a couple more ideas on this um, so the little holes right there if you guys can see that there's a little hole there's like four little holes right there there's four of them and what I do is I'll take uh, one of these q-tips here I'll find a, a nice purple one here and uh, I'll take it and uh, I'll cut the ends off of both sides and these are I don't even know where I got these at but uh, they're a little better than the normal ones I think I might have got them at the dollar store yeah so uh, oh my gosh I can't cut through that I think I'm about to get another blade put in that thing but there's that um, so obviously you cut it to size it don't fit in there unless you get to drill this hole a little bigger which I usually just take a um, uh, drill bit that is a little bit it's just a hair bigger but um, I'm gonna go ahead and drill this out real quick and I will come right back hey everybody so I'm back I finally got the truck sitting to where I kind of like it so I will go ahead and show you that and of course it does roll but I did get it sitting the way I wanted the beds not all the way on it for some reason it likes to wobble around but there we go but I did go ahead and get it set sat on there and if you guys can see my hand it does roll um, so that is that and I was kind of messing around with the old snow plow that came off the truck and uh, this old Ertl square body I think it looks pretty good with it on it I don't know if I can get it to sit on there you guys can kind of see that. I think it looks really cool. I think if I can find a real nice set of wheels for it, I am going to go ahead and make a snowplow truck because I think that would be really cool. And in the meantime, oops, I just dropped the dually wheels. But um, here is the uh, Just Trucks um, Chevy truck. Probably, I don't even know what year. Probably 2002 if I'm going to guess. Nope, 99. So this is the 99. I am going to start working on this. I think I'm going to get the dually wheels put on the back of it. Here's one of them. The other one fell on the ground, so I'll have to get it in a minute. But there's that. If you can, I can't really see what I'm doing. It won't be slammed like that by no means, but um, I'm excited to start this because this, this is a truck that's going to look really good with them on it. So... Stay tuned for the next video. I will be posting more videos. I will post this truck on Instagram tonight. So if you guys would, uh, go check it out. Go give me a like and subscribe um, on YouTube. And uh, go follow me on Instagram, of course. And uh, shoot me a message. If you guys want to see some certain truck, um, just let me know. I'll try and get it on the channel. Um, if I can find it, I'll buy it. And uh, just shoot me a message. Um, DM me on Instagram. I am selling trucks too. I will make personal trucks. If I can find the casting, I will make it and I'll sell it to you. So um, just uh, like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon. Make sure you keep up to date with my videos because you never know when I'm going to post again. I will see you guys in the next.